Hello all, welcome back to Astroneer. <laughs> uh, it is night time, I am prepared, I have adjusted some game sounds, that's, that's what I've done. If things are too quiet now, we shall see. Let's go quickly look, things are a lot better. There's way more control than I expected, so I've put this from 75 down to 65. I've turned this effect way down, it was also at 75. Um, yeah, you can hear, watch. That's a much bigger difference, right? So we're going to put that down to, I don't know, what was it at, 25? <clears throat> sure, let's go with that. <laughs> uh, the other thing I've done is I've looked around in the Astropedia, and I've looked at some resources. I know we need iron, and I know that if I go to this tab here, iron comes from hematite, and hematite is found on Novus and somewhere else, but... There's also lithium on Novus, so I think we're going to go to Novus today, even though I have uh, done a couple things in between episodes. I gathered some more research, just so that we have something to process while we're gone. Uh, I've put some stuff in my backpack. I have set up almost the chemistry lab. It is still not pat unpacked. Let's do that. Let's unpack that right now. Boom. Bling. All right, we need, I've put a couple of these on there, and I've got one of those in my backpack. Let's take a peek. I'm carrying the RTG power generator, a bunch of compound to make uh, tethers. We're going to need that. I have a mission to deploy a base on another planet, so we're going to drop this field shelter off on Novus. And a medium storage, because if this field shelter needs an oxygenator to provide oxygen, I will want to set up... Um, my ship's oxygenator, this thing right there, into the base, and that will free up a slot for hopefully this, and we can take a bunch more stuff home. And if not, I can leave it there to store stuff at the base on Novus. Uh, but we also, um, I don't have to walk over here to do it. I could just go to my quick menu, but why not? <clears throat> I have a mission to... Uh, well, yeah, to do a core concept, no, um, this one, place a shelter on another planet, so that's what we're doing. We also would have to place a landing pad on another planet, so do I have the blueprint for landing pads, and where would that be? Small shuttle, shelter, that's all I've got in there. I'm assuming it's a large one. I'll check in here real quick. And then we will see if we need to unlock it. Yeah, we've gone through everything in there. All right. Uh, no, not that menu. We would like to go to... Not the backpack. There we go. I'm assuming this is a large printer item. What is this? Solar array. No, let's check in here first. Auto extractor. Extra large shredder. Hmm, yeah. That's probably something I would like. <laughs> Solar array. Wind turbine. Okay. Sensors. No. Nope. Platforms. No. Large. Oh, oh, I saw it. Landing pad. It's only 750 bytes, and it is only one aluminum and two ceramics. So we're going to build one of those and take that with us, too. Okay, so we need that and I think I'm gonna need another one did it say two ceramic and what was the other part an aluminum can I hold that I can <laughs> I can get mm, no I'm gonna be going in caves let's keep the work light let's go make that clay into a backpack clay put you there yeah we need another one of those and then we will go to the large printer and print a landing pad Where is that going to pop up? Over here? Yeah, probably. Okay. Ceramic. Uh, into the backpack, please. We'll just drop it. Okay. There. That's the way into the backpack. <laughs> uh, all right. Chemistry lab. We need a plastic. We could do that before we go, too. But uh, I'm pretty invested in... There we go. Landing pad. 
two ceramic and an aluminum. It'll grab that right out of our pack for us. Let's see, what do we need for plastic? Examine. Organic and resin makes rubber. Carbon and compound makes plastic. Okay, well, let's make one plastic because I need at least one. And carbon, compound, okay. Uh, examine. Let's do that. Boom. That's also going to take power away from this, so it's going to be a slower building process. We're also researching stuff. I should not be doing all this at the same time. <laughs> well, that was very fast. <clears throat> very nice, very nice. Okay, let's put that uh, there for now. It's not an automatic output. That's interesting. I guess I could have left those where they were then. Hmm. All right. Uh, take another peek at the backpack. What else do we need? We need this. Oh, can I not carry this? Oh no, it's a giant item. Um, that means I will need a storage silo to contain it. Can I carry this? I think it's also a giant item. It is, okay. Well, how do we get this there? Do we have to build a large printer on another planet? Or do I have to build a large shuttle? I will go there, no problem. But where will our oxygenator go? How big is an oxygenator package? Where do I print an oxygenator at? Uh, examine. It's not here. Okay, maybe it's a medium thing. Or small printer, I guess. Yeah, small printer. Medium storage. Oxygenator. All right, one ceramic and one aluminum. Let's try th this way. Because we might not need an oxygenator to land if we place one down right when we get there before we suffocate. <laughs> uh, so I need a ceramic. Grab that. And we need an aluminum. Grab that. All right, nope, wrong button. Ceramic, please. What, where am I placing this? This tool, there we go, that's the one. What is that item? That is the soil centrifuge, okay. We haven't needed that in a bit, but I would like to go get that lithium today and iron. So let's go to that planet, regardless of what we can bring with us or not. Uh, and it was in here, right? Yes, oxygenator craft. So we have an extra oxygenator. <laughs> I guess I can leave one on the planet. Yeah, even if this was plugged into the ship, I could take a trip to uh, the other planet we went to. Okay, let's get out of the menu here. Yeah, that fits on the backpack just fine. And I still have enough compound for tethers, which we will need there. Okay, so you can stay here in the pile of important stuff. Well, you're probably already pretty much there. There's some scrap over there too. That's not important stuff. <laughs> okay, so we have the landing pad. Yeah, we have the base. All right, we just have to deploy this stuff before we suffocate. All right. Are we ready to go? I think we're ready to go. Let's um, clear this landing pad. We're going to have to land here when we get back. Get over there. Uh, let's check this. I think we have a complete mission. We have a new mission. Do we have one to hand in? We do. It's just for bites, so let's hand it in. Yoink, thank you. Uh, so the new mission, that's the one I'm tracking still. We get an RTG for getting a trade platform. Oh, that's what the plastic was for. All right, we'll do that when we get back, if we have time. It's eyes on lithium, I think, that I would like to track. So that's what we're doing. Um, from thin air was the new one. Okay. 
print atmosphere condenser produce a full gas resource okay we're not going to worry about that one today even though if we go into the astropedia and we look at planets and we go to which one we're we going to novus yes hematite and lithium uh, it has methane in the atmosphere which we do not have at access to here or on De Solo where we've been. Uh, we could get sulfur, we could get argon and nitrogen. Oh wait, nitrogen's what we got? Hydrogen, nitrogen, yes. Uh, so argon is a new one we could get. Uh, glacio is the other place with hematite. On the surface we could find it, but we go from medium up to hard hazards, and let's not worry about that just yet. Also, the sun power there is very low. That reminds me, that's one more thing we could take. Um, how much space do we got? I don't know how many connectors there are in a base, and we're taking an RTG anyway, but let's grab one small solar. That will give us a little bit more base power. I do have spare solar power here. I could take a wind one as well. 1.5 U from that, 1 U from that. Let's take a small wind. <clears throat> or should I take a small battery? You know what? Let's we're, we're fine. We're fine. Let's just go. Let's try this out. Okay, we're going to get in. That is the new one. Yep, that is the new one. Consumable. We're in here. Saving game. Uh, we would like to launch to another planet with V. Okay, that is much more quiet. I am glad I picked the right volume level to turn way down. Haha. <laughs> All right, we are going to Novus, if we can find it. Aatrox, Calador, Glacio. Novus, it is also a moon, so it will be small. I did not bring a beacon, because I'm leaving a base, and hopefully that will be marked for us. Oh, hey, there's somewhere to land right there. That's pretty close to the uh, purple thing. Yoink. Well, that was easy to find. Oh, what's going on? Am I... Okay. It just didn't draw the ground as well as I expected it to. <laughs> uh, I'm not suffocating yet, so let's uh, exit the vehicle uh, with F. And, no, I'm still not suffocating. This is providing me oxygen without an oxygenator, so this was uh, a waste of time the whole time. All right, let's get that there. And the ship wants to land here normally, so I think that's where we'll put our landing pad. Yeah, you can fall over, whatever, it doesn't matter. And we'll unpack it. <clears throat> there we go, that's part of the mission done. Oh. That's not very level, is it? Uh, and what's that flying above us? What's that shadow on the ground? Is that just the trees? All right, just the trees. Okay. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's put that on the flat area after all. Doesn't matter. Close enough, right? Yeah, that's fairly uh, flat. Expand. There we go. Oops, sorry. Just a second itchy ear underneath my headset. <laughs> uh, that didn't seem to do anything on our missions. Let me hit that. Um, forward progress. Yeah, place the landing pad is marked off. I just didn't see it. Oh, now we're suffocating. Now we are suffocating. Uh, yeah, the ship still provides oxygen. Okay, let's go to the backpack. Uh, let's put this nearby, I guess right here, right? We'll unpack it. There we go. Forward progress complete. Uh, how many power connectors or whatever does this thing have, if any? It's also giving us oxygen without an oxygenator. It seems to have one built in and power, uh, but with no... Oh, there's a plug right there. Okay. Uh, it says we have high solar here, but I think we might be on like a pole or something. Let's plug this in. There we go. A little bit more power from our base. Uh, we need to start making some tethers. Let's do that. See, we're using power to make stuff, but it should replenish from the base because we're connected. Yeah, we're filling back up. We'll make more tethers. We need to turn all of this into tethers, basically. Oh, it would also recharge from our QTG, uh, RTG here. 
QGG. <laughs> uh, mm, yeah, it's down here. It's out of the way. We've got three open slots. Let's use these tethers first. Uh, medium storage. Yeah, th that does unpack there. So let's put it there and unpack it. Okay, so we can store lots of stuff now. Actually, let's put it down here so we'll just be able to put it up there when it's full of stuff. And oxygenator. You know what? Let's uh, let's take this back home for now. We'll put it up there and we'll put it in the backpack if there's space later. Okay, so we can start dropping. We would like to go into a cave for... Um, oh wait, you know what? Let's uh, let's hand in that mission here, because if I hand in, um, where's forward progress? We get a buggy and a rover seat. I have these at home already, so let's get them here, and it should pop down on the landing pad. Perfect. So let's uh, use our RTG on this. Freeze up another slot in the backpack. Uh, let's put uh, that there, and can we expand it? Not from this angle. Okay. Unpack. There we go. We've got a fully functioning buggy on a new planet. And this provides us with oxygen, right? Yeah. So we could go get our cave lithium now, and then come back for iron when we find a cave. Or if we fall into one, we'll dig our way back up. Ooh, what a crevice we're in. Uh, okay, there's something to unlock. I don't have a connector port on this, um, whatchamacallit, um, buggy. So there's caves down there, too. There's no caves in my little crevice. That's okay. I don't see mountains at all. There's some mountains over there. Uh, I'm sort of stuck. Oh, don't fall. <laughs> Okay, flip. Boop. Let's go around stuff. Let's let's not crash into stuff. Let's go around stuff. Looks like a crevice here. Is that a hazard? Is this plant a hazard? I can't tell. It didn't hurt me in the in the buggy. Okay. Let's um let's take a peek down here before we go down. And let's go around. <laughs> And up. This seems like a fairly stable path. We don't have to do much editing. Oh, we should have probably brought the oxygenator with us so we can get far away from this vehicle. Or we should have just built some tethers. What do we have there? Is that something we should uh, investigate? Okay, we get power and oxygen from the vehicle within range. Let's just uh, see what we got. Titanite. Oh, this is a material I do not have yet. I will grab that, and you can't normally get it on this planet either. So, that's cool. Let's dig the rest of this thing out and see what we get. Doesn't look like anything. Oh, yeah, there are some more minerals in there. Uh, aluminum and ammonium I can get at home. I'll leave those for now, but that's cool. What do I see all around me? This does appear to be the mountain. Let's get back in the buggy, just so we don't have to worry about going too far from our oxygen. Looks like there's a crashed something or other over there with some stuff up on that spire. So let's try to head there without falling in this chasm. Looks like a pretty deep cave. And those are gonna snag me up, these plants here, with research on them. Boop. All right, we fell, but we're good. We didn't go all the way down to the core. Oh yeah, look at it. look at that stuff. That is some real crashed stuff over there. This planet is not the easiest to navigate. We might have to just abandon this buggy. <laughs> uh, I can build some bridges before we go anywhere. We've got the power. Let's uh, maybe work on that. Okay. Um, how much soil do I have? 
And how level do I want to make stuff? Where's a good level spot? I want to go over that way, but I want to be able to get up onto there, so... Whoops. Uh, let's just dig. Dig, dig, dig. Dig. There we go. Can the buggy get up on this now without sliding off? Uh, I don't know. Can't go too far from the buggy either. It seems a bit more level here, doesn't it? Yeah, that's a bit better. Let's widen this out a bit more. You want to get all the way over there and have enough room to potentially turn around, right? And I can see that that's just compound, but I do want to see what this crashed ship is all about. Right? Without falling into a hole. Can I get in from here? I can. Now, can I get around this crevice from here? Hmm. You know what I should try, maybe, is hopping out and trying to dig this thing away, because maybe this thing can fall. I can't destroy it without a drill mod, maybe? Yeah. All right, let's let's uh, let's just build our ramp wider then. Right? There we go. Yeah, that worked. <laughs> sort of. Oh, don't fall, don't fall. Okay. Now, I would like to not fall when I get out. Jeepers creepers, that was delicate. Let's turn that backpack light on. It uses some power, but uh, it's way brighter. It looks like I can walk on this stuff. It just says that's organic. Compound. Yeah, I do not see lithium. Do I? That's a research item. That can't fit on our rover, can it? No, it can go on our rover seat. Uh, we'll just drop you. Goodbye. Boop, boop, boop. All the way to the core, probably. Uh, that is resin over there. I don't know that there's a quick way back up to the vehicle from here, or a quick, whack, quick, quick way back to the base uh, also, which, by the way, I don't know where it is. Compass that way behind that mountain over there which I also do not see lithium on it should be spiky it should look a little bit like this green thing I just picked up the titanium but a different color hmm. what about on that mountain anything ah well let's keep looking I do want to explore this thing a bit more and dig it out, but uh, I also want to come get what we came for, right? Whee! Boom. That was fairly successful. Let's go this way then. This thing's got better grip than I expected. Especially in reverse. It's got super great acceleration in reverse. Oh, hello, what's this? Maybe this is what I need. Tell me what it is, please. Let's get rid of that compass. Okay, let's bring out the multi-tool. Maybe that helps. Yeah, that looks right. I just said organic. Hmm. But look at it. It's... Yeah, it's a different color. That was the right stuff. So it is here, but it's pretty sparse. Yeah, I don't want compound. I want... Oh, oh, there's a hazard. I think. That that was moving as we got near it anyway. Alright, let's get into the rover. We seem to be safe from most things in here. Right? Yeah, it's not even shaking now. Uh, there's the base over there. Let's see if I can find more of that stuff. Some explodey plants that probably won't explode because we're in the rover. Yeah, okay. And I flipped it. Boop. Okay, resin is getting us stuck. Go figure. 
Yeah, this is a very uh, bumpy planet. And flip, no, that just flipped me right out. There we go. Let's get back in. Can we drive from here though? We can, good, good, good. Okay, what do we have in here? Another crater. Flip, there we go. Easier driving at least on the way to this, uh, this thing over here. I could leave the vehicle over here and we could walk back. Uh, that might find us the stuff we need. Set up some tethers from the vehicle to this purple thing from the base back home. It's a nice view of the planet. Um, yeah, let's look up here. I really want to find that stuff before we go looking for iron in the caves. <clears throat> oh no, I'm going to be stuck in here. <laughs> Flip. There we go. Can I climb this wall? Doesn't look like it. Oh, I can climb that one though. How did I do that? What's going on here? I'm on the side. Oh, uh, no, that's not more of the same stuff. Let's get off of this cool purple thing. If I can. I seem to be. There we go. Stuck. <laughs> uh, oh, maybe there was one of those geysers in the in that crater I was stuck in. What's that over there? Another hazard, no doubt. Nope, some research. Okay. Uh, resin. There's some of that stuff. Okay. Uh, let me out. There we go. And some hazard plants. Thank you. Oh, ah, geez. Get away. I don't seem to take any noticeable damage. My screen didn't turn red, so I avoided the, the brunt of that. There's a big research items, tiny research items. Um, yeah, whatever. <laughs> what is this? Lapis. Do I have to dig it out? What do I do? Mm, okay, interesting. Uh, I would like more of that mineral, though. Uh, lithium. Let's find some of that if we can. I think we're going to go way over time today if I'm serious about finding iron and lithium and getting home. <laughs> oh, there's a whole bunch of lithium right there. Okay, if I can just figure out how to steer. That rock is really getting to me. I thought we'd be able to go... Oh, okay, I can see why I couldn't go over it now. <laughs> All right, let's hop out here-ish. Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, the gun, please. There we go. I've got to get three of them, though, huh? Okay. There we go. <clears throat> There's three lithium gathered. Let's gather as many as we can. <laughs> uh, and we'll plant tethers all the way back to the base. Where are these falling to, by the way? <laughs> oh, there it goes. Okay. So I can put one of these, let's put the gun away, on the rover. Uh, and let's bring that radar back up. Looks like the base is over this way. So what I'm going to do is drop a tether. That does not connect to the vehicle. Hmm. Okay, well, let's drop tethers as f about half of our oxygen away. Uh, over to the base. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll turn around and head back to the rover, or the buggy. Following these tethers, even though they don't give us oxygen. Okay, that's good enough. Close enough, at least. And we can run back. That We could have gone further than half if we ran back, right? But that cleared up uh, one slot, which is all we need to gather that last uh, bit of lithium. <coughs> that was on the ground over here somewhere. Did we already pick it up? No, there it is. 
Yoink, put that in the backpack. Let's get into the rover. And we're gonna get iron next time. I'm just gonna go put all of this stuff in that medium storage. Oh, hey, there's another one here. Oh, I need to drop even more. <sighs> okay, well, I'll do that off camera as well. Uh, yeah, let's get back to the, no, not base, but you know, the ship. <laughs> I guess that we have a small base there now, right? Can I get there from here? We're gonna try. Hit this at full speed, solid wall. <laughs> no, that just made us flip. Okay, get out, flip the vehicle, get in the vehicle. And we're gonna have to go up this way, more of an angle. No, we just flipped again. Come on. Where do we get up here? Can we get up here? <laughs> doesn't like us driving up sheer walls, that's for sure. A little bit of an angle is needed. But that's good to be known. Oh yeah, we're really close by. Okay, this will be easy to set up tethers to. Uh, after I dig a cavern, actually, is probably what I'm going to do. Because we're at pretty much level ground, of course. Of course. Of course! <laughs> hey, a cave. Hey, a cave. Alright, well, I'm going to hop out here. And uh, I'm going to dig back up to those. Oh, ow. Ouch. I guess I can take damage. <laughs> Got oxygen. I'm back at the base. The radar's off. Okay. I'm going to have to go get the vehicle out. Dig that out. I'm going to have to get some stuff set up. Get the tether set up from here to the purple thing. And uh, that's where we'll come back. We'll get some iron next time. Till then, everyone. Have a really good time.